Past perfect versus past simple. Let's compare these two tenses. The past perfect, like I had done, compared to the past simple, like I did. The past perfect is used to talk about an activity before another activity in the past. Let's look at this example. I found out that she had lied to me. In the timeline, she lied to me is a point in the past. That activity, or that event, happened before another point in time at which I found out about it. She lied to me, and then I found out about it. So I say, I found out that she had lied to me. When we were talking about a single activity in the past, we just used the past simple. For example, I gave her the book. Moreover, if we are telling a story or just reporting a sequence of events in the past, we use past simple for all of them. For example, you can say, she came in and sat down and drank tea. So in the timeline, we are just reporting a series of activities in the past. She came in and sat down and drank tea. Now let's look at these two sentences. She got out of bed when the alarm rang. She had gotten out of bed when the alarm rang. What is the difference? Let's look at them again. She got out of the bed when the alarm rang. She had gotten out of the bed when the alarm rang. Let's look at the timeline. For the first sentence, she got out of the bed when the alarm rang. It means the alarm rang here, and then she got out of the bed. So the alarm rang first, then she got out of the bed. For the second sentence, she had gotten out of the bed when the alarm rang. Here, first she got out of the bed, she was out of the bed, and the alarm rang. So you see, a little difference can change the sequence of the activities that you're talking about. So in summary, always ask yourself, if you want to talk about one or two activities in the past, and if it is important that one is fully completed before the other. And that was the past perfect compared to the past simple.